All right, these starting bonuses are pretty bad. I gotta take max HP or get a card. Any max HP fans? Any max HP fans? Because what we could do is take a card and go for three elites. Let's try it. Let's try it. This is pretty, this is actually one of the worst starting relics, starting bonuses probably. If I had to be, unless I can get like immediate value out of it. I would have lethal last turn. Okay. Let's see what this max HP is going to do for us. Let's take the anger. Anger versus Guardian. I don't want the anger. I want the damage. Move a card. I should move a strike. Okay, not bad. Give me a heal. What is this? Not my brimstone. Not my brimstone. Bandage up. That's how we take advantage of the fact that we have... Bandage up. Take advantage of the fact that we have... What's it called? Is extra max HP or nah? We do bandage up and then we heal with this extra max HP. Or we could take a cultist pot for the boss. Or cultist pot for the elite. Does cultist pot do enough against one of these elites? Like let's say cultist pot against Lagavulin. Let's say this is a burning Lagavulin. Okay, cultist pot's pretty good. Or uh, remove? <laughs> Alright, who wants to do bandage up? Who wants to do final pin? Who wants to do neither? Who wants cultist pot? Shop was forced on me, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Bandage up feels like it's kind of a troll though, right? To spend 105 gold for it. At least Feudal Pain can handle the triple sentries somewhat. It's really bad in hallway fights. I'm gonna try this. What? What if I upgraded the bandage up? I feel pain anyways. One, two, three, four. Huh. I gotta skip an elite now. I gotta skip an elite now. So we got... Skip an elite because the pentagraph is good, but... A little bit too low. Oh my god, double fiddle pin. The one final pain is the biggest troll of life. Unless it's exactly triple century. If it's exactly triple century, we're happy. If it's gremlin not, we lose, no? What if... We take Wild Strike, so we have damage. Who's down for Wild Strike? A little crazy, huh? Not a very good start so far. Transform is pretty bad. The shop was a bandage up, which doesn't do anything to help. Watch it is horrible. This, this is this is a reset, boys. This is a uh, GG go next. <clears throat> it's a GG go next. I feel like Sundial. Okay, we're going infinite, boys. Okay, how do we beat this boss? Sundial. I no idea. No idea how we beat this boss. That's a good start. Got Sundial on our side. Full damage. Close, close to explosive pot. Frozen egg. Oh my god, GG boys. We're gonna get rolled. You're telling me I had to skip? What is happening? Hmm. Okay. 
Are you telling me I have to skip the Burning Elite? Or do I rest against Burning Elite? What's an, what's an upgrade to kill Grumman Nub? If it's Grumman Nub, we just lose. So we upgrade Bash for Grumman Nub? I think we lose anyways. So if I rest, do I just die if I rest as well? No matter how we shake it, we lose to Grumman Nub, no? For Triple Centuries, we'll probably have a chance with Final Pain, but even then, we have no cards for Burning Elite. This spells certain disaster, doesn't it? Triple Century, we're fine. We're fine against Triple Century. We have Explosive Pot. I think we always use Explosive Pot now, right? Like, always, because we're always using this in this fight. Unless you want to wait till later, but I think we're always using it in this fight. You can, use, you can save for the Garden. I, I, I doubt. I doubt it. I'd rather take it now just in case that Intelligence makes a difference. It won't make a difference later, I guess. Alright. Alright, so we got through the fight. GG. Got through the fight. GG. That was a really bad sundial. What do you expect? Now we have Pantograph for the boss. I can kill now. Or I can just wait and stall. Save some life. And then... I got lucky that I didn't get coming up. That was a 50% chance to lose a run. Kind of lucky. Wow, that's a lot of block that I'm missing out on. I hope I don't draw into my two wounds instead. That would suck. Wild Shrike, I think, has helped me. Molten Egg. Now we're talking. Oh my god, Molten Egg into Uppercut Plus. Yes. White Beast. Okay. Okay, we're, we're getting places. Molten Egg, White Beast. Anything else you want to tell me? Anything else you want to share with me, sir? All right. Molten, be Molten Egg and White Beast plus Frozen Egg. Um, This run, oh, it's all of a sudden is going places although i gotta say what a troll it is what a troll it is to have wounds in your deck Best. White Beast statue is amazing. I could have stopped for Sundial, I guess. Headbutt Clash. Headbutt Clash. What does Headbutt do for us? It's 12 damage card, but what does it do for us? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's figure it out. Let's upgrade Bash. Alright, we're adding Acre to the deck. Could backfire. Get this out of the deck. And now we think about do we use Dexterity Pot? Pro answer is probably yes. A turn like this, it doesn't matter. On turns like this, it never matters. So I guess we never have block in this deck. Suppose we're not a block deck. I want to get Final Pain out of the, the run. But I also want to block full. This might be a hard fight. Because I didn't get the best potion for this fight. 
do too much damage. I didn't want to do too much damage. It's way too much damage. Maybe I can permanent weaken, which is not bad. Uh, do, I just, do I just have to push for damage at this point and go for lethal? Might have had to push for damage there to get lethal. So this time we have a massive turn. Lethal here. Alright, no problem. Easy game. Oh my! Immolate plus Demon Former Brutality. Demon Form plus? Okay, it's Immolate plus for Act 2, yeah? Choker, Crown, or Calling Bell? Well, Crown seems pretty bad when you have both eggs. And Choker's manageable, no? Alright, we have Wipey Statue, two eggs. And now, we also got rid of the... We got pretty lucky because we managed to get... That... Um, get those two, three elites. Two, three elites. Let's take some damage to the face. We managed to get the Sparkling Elite an Act 1, even though it's 50% chance to lose the whole run. So that was pretty decent. And now we can remove Wild Shrike, because Wild Shrike is... It served its purpose, but it was it's done now. Um, This guy is pretty strong. Fortunately. We have region pot for this, right? Am I just region pot? Heal this back up. We have region pot and we have bandage up. Oh, we double region pot. Wonderful. Sword boomerang. Do we want to struggle it up for more block? I feel like we need some more block. Yes, sword boomerang is cool, but let's take the block card. Use region pot here. Let's region pot in this fight. Fight might go long. Hopefully, it doesn't go too long. Hopefully not too long, sir. Alright, that was a waste of my sundial. That's life. That happens. Bloodly skip. Alright, let's see what we can remove. Reaper. Does Reaper help us, guys? Not really. And what about Rupture? Does Rupture help us? Rupture is a particularly good power when it's upgraded. Rupture is a good power when it's upgraded, but do we have cards that work with Rupture? The answer is no. I'm about ready to get rid of Wild Strike now. It did this job. This, this is a pretty bad shop. Unless you guys think that Rupture can make some play somehow. So maybe Rupture can be my scaling for the champ. What do you think? How can we make Rupture scale for the champ? It takes one Hemo, maybe? Maybe one... One Brutality, one Hemo, and we have Rupture scaling for the champ? I'll, I'll entertain the idea. Is it a little reckless? Maybe. But with these eggs, I'm feeling confident. Actually, with a turn like this, I'm no longer confident. This is pretty bad. After a turn like this, I am no longer confident. What the hell? So badly want to do immolate to win this fight, but I think my life is a little bit more important than that. Although maybe immolate would have won the fight right there on the spot, huh? Still wins it on the spot if I find it, of course. Are you guys feeling lucky?
Damn. Bye bye potions. Fiendal Pain Plus versus Shockwave. Shockwave is incredible. Fiendal Pain Plus could be a block engine. But how? We don't have enough exhaust for that. Um, is there any relic that can give me rupture ticks? Probably not. Except for Runic Cube or whatever. So, I don't think we should take a curse going into a 3 Elite. Pretty bad event. And I think I'm, I'm even troubling here. I'm in trouble here. I'm no longer in trouble here. I'm no longer in trouble here. Alright, really good lead fight. Fantastic lead fight. I could have got shunned out Brock there. Whirlwind Plus? What about a True Grit to take more advantage of Final Pain? It feels bad to take True Grit when we have Whirlwind Plus, but... Do we like Whirlwind Plus when we have Imlet already? Well, sometimes Whirlwind works with Sundial. I guess I had Darkstone Perry up for that curse we could have just got him. We could have got 6 max HP out of that. That was consideration. I should have thought about that. War 1 plus feels pretty bad. Why am I getting all these green stuff, but none of the green stuff is good? I'm getting offered green cards, but none of them I want to take. I took a rupture that I bought with my own money, and it was the worst card of all of them. So that makes it even worse. I actually bought this with my own money, and it was worse than any other green card that I got offered. And I paid for it. <laughs> Imagine that I paid for that. But my philosophy was that I'm going to find a way to make a rupture work. Not sure what I was thinking. <laughs> I think one thing that never died with me was my... Fascination trying to make rupture work. That, that never leaves. That always stays. Warwind just it's like a little bit better than the strike. Uh, what do you guys think about True Grit? True Grit to thin out the deck, maybe take advantage of Field of Pain. It requires an upgrade. What else am I upgrading? Shockwave? I'm upgrading Shockwave. Upgrading Shockwave now? Or should I go to the fight to get more? Or upgrade True Grit now? The Shockwave is not going to last long enough, unless it's Gremlin Leader. If it's Gremlin Leader, it lasts pretty long. But we have Upcut, so. Since we have Upcut, let's upgrade True Grit. You get one of those in my deck. Gremlin Leader, Shockwave is good here. Let's bring back the Emily. Play Fiendal Pain or just attack? What do you guys think? Fiendal Pain or just attack? I think the damage is more relevant, don't you think, guys? Who's with me? I think 9 damage is more relevant. Let's make him vulnerable for the rest of his life. Is this going to be the freest elite ever? Let's get the Sundial proc Is this going to be the freest elite ever? We got the Sundial. So we healed in this fight. We just straight up healed and we got Sundial. This is a, this is a, a pit stop. We healed in this fight. We got a Reaper Plus offered to us. We don't have Strength. So what do you guys think about that? Well, we could get Strength. It's all, as long as we need is a Rupture Enabler. Akabeko is good because Akabeko sometimes works with Reaper. Sometimes I can heal... An extra 8 with Reaper. But other than that, I think I get rid of Akabeko. For all the times that Akabeko hits Reaper, it hits nothing as well. Right? Okay, we can go to a shop again. Don't draw Emily here. This fight sucks. I'm not looking forward to this fight. You know, Pit Plus would have been sick here.
Rapture's gonna see his time. Don't worry, don't worry. So how do we beat this? How do we win this fight? What's the solution for this fight, boys? Just take it on the chin? Just take it on the chin, I guess. Yeah, of course. Take it, take it. Rupture works for burns. All right, we finally found a, a, a reason for rupture. Rupture works for burns. That's that's how we scale. Rupture burns. But now we want to get. Now we want to get Reaper, right? Who wants Reaper? Let's try. You still want to go for Reaper? I like Reaper doesn't punish us, right? Because we have lethal no matter what. Okay, there's a chance that we draw and we don't get lethal. So we can just kill now. But we could also get Reaper. Let's not. Let's get out of here. Okay, now we got Dark Embrace. So we're getting the makings of some kind of exhaust stuff, but we don't really have the exhaust things. Dark Embrace doesn't do anything, does it? What do I need in my deck for Dark Embrace to be relevant? It's a good power. One scene red or something? Aye, but it's so bad in this fight. I think we're gonna lose this fight. This fight is actually really bad for me. What's my highest value? Um, I think it's really bad here. Rupture is a curse. We have a rupture curse, dark and base curse, funeral pain curse. We have three. All our powers are curses right now, but they have potential. TM. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use Blessing of the Forge on. Might just be now to get Palmer Strike and Anger upgraded. I'm thinking Headbutt again for Palmer Strike or Headbutt for Anger because we want to push the Angers. And Angers how we win. Rupture can get work with my burns, that's about it. So what are we headbutting? Palmer Strike, yeah? Because that helps me draw into what? What do we want to draw with Palmer Strike? I'm not sure. I think we want to just do Anger for damage. In general, I'm going to struggle here. Two wounds. That's not good. It's not a good start to get two wounds. Okay, here we can prevent all the wounds, but then we're not pushing any damage. But these are not my best damage cards anyways, so let's prevent more wounds. If we want to recycle the deck, three, three wounds is not going to be very good. Here's a good turn to start doing damage. We're going to get one more wound. I never played Final Pain to begin with. Um... Do I want to keep Dragon Bridge in the deck or do I want to get rid of it? Like, is Reaper ever going to get played for 2 energy? I think Bash is more important because it's the thing that does damage. Here's when we start taking too much damage to the face and we start crying, begging for mercy. Here it happens again. This time I wish I had Dark Embrace. Here it's happening again. We're still crying and begging for mercy. Okay, we got out of there. Is Metallicize... Oh, Hemokinesis! That's my rupture! There's my rupture. Okay, we got Hemo. There's a rupture. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not guaranteed to draw them in the right order, but... The idea is there. I don't know if I'll draw them in the right order, but... I'm not even going to play- Okay, we have so many curses. But for the boss fight, we have Rupture Hemo. That's a thing. And here we have Reaper. Oh, 
Okay, maybe I should have just blocked. I actually could have played that better. I might have been I might be losing my mind here. I might just be losing my mind just a little bit. Wait, couldn't I have just done headbutt shrug? Instead of Reaper, headbutt shrug emulate was more? Okay. I, I think the answer is headbutt shrug emulate was more. In terms of life saves. But we, we this is what region parts are for. This is what region parts are for, boys. Since you, if you don't want to take damage, you do flame bear emulate, right? But if you don't care about taking damage, you do bash emulate. But of course, I can't just take that much damage to the face. And as good as emulate is, how we set up first? How do we set that up first? As good as shockwave is, how about we just kill this man? So he's never a problem. Or I guess he is. Unless I get exactly a headbutt here. Into an anger. These motherfuckers. Wasted my Reaper. How? How do you not die in time? Explain to me. How the hell do you not die in time? There's a Hemo for the potential rupture, but that's only for boss fights, I guess. It's a card that doesn't actually exist in my deck. It doesn't actually exist. I have two cards in my deck that don't actually exist until you want them to exist. Pummel is a great releaser when you have rupture, but how often is your pummel going to be released? That's like so Nambo-ish. You'd rather just take the pummel strikes you can get into the combo that you're trying to find, but then you don't even have energy for all the pummel strike. I mean, Pummel could be a good kill for the champ. But can I just constantly keep doing Rupture, Rupture, Rupture in time? Or does the champ just kill me before then? I mean, how do I realistically stall for the champ? How many Ruptures can I get in one fight? I guess if I had but I can get more. Pummel is a good release, though. Do I need that kind of kill? Or I'm just going to kill regardless? I think I'd rather focus on things that can get me um, more consistency. I guess Feudal Pain helps as well. I guess maybe I need more better block, right? Flame Bearer is a pretty good block, and I need more block in my life. I'm also going to be frail. If we can get Rupture out of the way now, okay. What if we start getting rid of all this bad defense? If we get rid of all the bad defense of True Grit, maybe we're okay. And we can make the deck down to a Hemokinesis. Bread and butter. There's the rupture. Alright, there was the headbutt, but we got the rupture. That's important. Okay, we're taking damage to the face. That's also important. Could I could put a burn in my deck. Why do we want to start putting angers? I don't want to do angers yet because I want to um, get a couple more ruptures going. I'm not going to Reaper just yet either. I'm not going to do any attacks. A couple more Hemos going for the rupture action. I can overlay the weaken or I can just block. Alright, we're gonna take some damage to the face, but now we get rid of this. Alright, we'll block a little bit. Let's get like 8 strength. 8 strength and then we dump it, because I do do a lot of damage. You could do Reaper Heal now. What better time to get it out of the way than now? While I'm not weakened. Or I can wait till one more rupture. What do you guys think? Wait till one more rupture, or just get it out of the way now while I'm not weakened? And a turn where I'm not really getting attacked. How long? I guess the question is how long do you want to actually stall? We can keep stalling even longer, huh? That's pretty shitty. At some point, I'm going to want the sh strikes. The weak is important, but I don't want to do too much damage here. It's getting a little risky.
I could overlay the bash, which is not bad, or just do this. Well, that does make him hurt himself, which is... Mm. We still have enough leeway here. We do have the Hemo. If I do the Hemo now, it should be GG, but I'm going to be vulnerable for his big attack. If I do Hemo now, it should be GG, right? But then I'm vulnerable for his big attack. And how do we feel about that? Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. The math is perfect. Math is perfect. He gets one more Metallic or something, right? And then we could just get... Try, put the Vulnerable and go, go ham. Yeah, we're good, we're good. And we even have Sundial next turn. Or we can go now. No, nah, but I want to hit Uppercut. And now we go. Oh, I forgot to do that first. Why are you making me weaken, sir? Like, what is that, dude? Like, what is that? We drop first, see what we get. Drop first, see what we get. Can we win? Can we win anyways? Or do we not actually win? I could have blocked a little bit more. He's neither here nor there. Okay, now we got it. We got the Corruption Dark Embrace Funeral Pain. The problem is we have Choker. The problem is Choker's in the mix. So then you gotta ask yourself, is it Exhume? Exhume says, hi. I see your rupture scaling with your Hemo. How about you just Exhume Reaper, Exhume Shockwave. Shockwave, do a lot of statuses. Reaper, to heal back up again. But Corruption Dark Embrace Funeral Pain... It's a, it's a great combo, just the choker makes it less good. What do you guys think? Corruption's still good anyways, even with the choker? Or not really? It allows me to have less energy worries in general. I'll do it. So now when I gain a, a curse, I can gain max HP with it. Or we don't have to upgrade ever. Do we ever want to upgrade? What are we trying to upgrade? Funeral Pain? Pommel Strike? Are we actually upgrading anything? Are we mad that we don't have Exhume? And what's the point of having all this extra energy with Corruption? Now the Corruption feels like a donkey because we have 5 energy a turn. But Fusion Hammer is bad because of Act 4 Fire. I don't like it. I'd rather have something to do in Act 4 Fire. So I'm okay with getting one curse because at least I get the ability to upgrade. I have to recall once. So I might get one or two upgrades out of this. So what's more important? One or two upgrades or one curse? But this also gives me 6 max HP. Although the curse could be pretty bad. Do we care about not being able to upgrade in Act 4... Campfire. Whatever. Let's go. Two upgrades versus one curse. Sometimes more than two upgrades. It depends. It depends. Look, here we got an extra campfire. And we're going to go for all the elites. Are we worried about the elites? Like, are, do we think we're that hot? I'm not sure if I'm that big of a hot shot. I wouldn't say this is the biggest hot shot deck. Rupture's not very fast. This 
damage rupture ain't very fast. Alright, we're gonna find the thing that we want, right? Like... Never mind. Never mind. Shrug it off. Does the second habit do anything for us? Bite. What could go wrong? What can go wrong, boys? I could have, I could have done double emulate that turn. My bad, boys. I could have done double emulate. I could have been a double emulate that turn. Instead, I trolled. Where's 28 plus 20? 48. Ouchies. Should we go for Sundial? Or we should go for Reaper, right? Can we do Reaper in time? Reaper and Sundial, huh? Okay, we got Calipers. Okay. And what does Calipers say to us? It says... It says Choker's gonna ruin your life. If you didn't have Choker, Caliper, Choker, Calipers, Corruption, Dark Embrace, Calipers, just fucking sick. I feel a pain. Okay. Oh, shit. Whoa. Should we get 999 gold? Okay. That gives us 12 HP, max HP. You can remove one of the normalities and go visit the second shop right here. Worth it? Big max HP, big money. Whoa, we got a waffle too? And we got a waffle. Let's remove the normality. Let's buy the waffle. And now what? What else do we want from here? What else do we want from here? Apotheosis with the hammer. Most of my stuff is upgraded anyways, right? What is Apotheosis actually doing for us? But this is good enough. Is upgrading final pain, upgrading to my basic defense, upgrading my shrug, upgrading my, my pommel, my shrugs. Who's the boss? You guys think we need inflame for more damage? Yay yeah, or nay? Okay, what is... Is Pathosis... Is am I happy to draw Pathosis? Yes or no? It's not terrible. I wonder if we want Inflame for more damage. What about Vajra for more damage? What about a second shockwave? Uh, 
Oh, the not the normality. Not the normality. There's no feed here, right? Alrighty, bye. Oh shit, skill pot. Bloodletting. Sure, boomerang. So boomerang is cool if rupture was doing more to me. So oh, but bloodletting helps with bloodletting helps with rupture, but bloodletting also doesn't do anything because I don't need the energy. Rupture's cool and all. Do I take it just for two strength? In general, I think rupture's a troll here. Maybe I can find bottle tornado. <clears throat> So boomerang is a good power, a good uh, uh, attack to have after I already have strength scaling. Question is, am I ever getting strength scaling? This does 16 for one. I'll take it. Is it good? No, but it had flex pot, so that's why I'm doing it. Oh, man, giant head. What a guy. What a guy he is. This is a guy for sure. I am not happy about this guy. Alright, I got some strength. I need more of that. I might have to do a flex spot for this guy. Question is when do I when do I go in on the flex spot? Because I'm drawing a normality coming up. So when do I go in on the flex pot? Normality is going to destroy me. Maybe that was the flex pot turn. Oh, we got this. Feel no pain, corruption, true grit on the normality, right? And then, so feel no pain, corruption, feel no pain on the normality. I mean, this on the normality. Play this, full block, and now we have Dark Embrace, we go ham, right? Or maybe you don't do Dark Embrace, maybe this is the flex spot turn. Gary. Oh, now we can start lifting for strength. Oh, that's perfect. Because we were struggling to do something at campfires. Now we can lift, which is perfect. I want to do the extra shot because the, the, the normality is pretty bad, right? So, I, all right, we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, we got instance burner. Let's remove normality. And now we have evolve. Does evolve help us? Yeah, it does. Evolve's fine, right? Souvenir. Souvenir with white beats is incredible. Let's do evolve. What else? That's it. We're done. Unless you guys want another sword boomerang, which eh, nah. Let's save this money. Let's lift finally. And now we have instant burner, Vajra. A little rupture sometimes. Bag of marbles. One more elite. And a happy camper is what we are. And now that Shubram Ring makes so much sense because of that big, beautiful Gyria. Perfect block. Wasted of turn here, which means I just go boom. Boom into kill. Pommel Shrek again. There's the evolve. I already bought one on Forge. I don't know if I needed evolve, but it can't help to have all this. Can't hurt to have this setup, right? Flame Bearer, because we already have like decent. Take another skull like Flame Bearer. And then with Apotheosis, it's not. Eh, I don't know if I want to take an ungreen. Flame bearer, but it could become green with apotheosis, and then it's not bad. 
And more skills of corruption is not bad either. Kind of like more skills of corruption. Although I want to draw into my powers first. What about another pommel strike? That simply says two card draw for one energy. I already have one. The other one is just not good. But would you rather take another skill? Because we have corruption. Oh, does Palm Strike do enough for us? Do Palm Strike. Who needs Blessing of the Forge? Isn't it better to do Strength Pot against these elites? What does Blessing of the Forge do for us? Gives you some energy back on Apotheosis. Now we have a Reaper. Blessing of the Forge is good here, I guess. Now that I think about it. I don't want to get... I mean, wounds are not too bad, I guess, because... Holy shit! What is this? Well, I'm going to get wounds. I wish Choker didn't exist. Right about now. Okay, we can Reaper back up. We can Reaper back up. Not a best turn, but I guess I should use evolve. Ah, it's whatever. Can she not attack me for so much damage? Can she not do that? Do I care about Evolve or I just want to kill? Eh, Evolve does nothing. I got a Sundial prop. Close them for Weaken. Well, we already have Shockwave and we already have Uppercut, right? I'm not going to take it. Was it ever Sever Soul? Well, they never said a soul. What's up, guys? Shadow and Shrain. Appreciate you. Uh, well, we have Reaper, so that's my excuse for taking this damage. I guess. We got Rupture Hemo, but no, uh... Rupture Hemo, but no energy. Turns out energy was sort of a problem. Sometimes. Souvenir is going to be a good thing to use. I think souvenirs can be really come in handy when I'm trying to um, Souvenirs going to come big time in handy when I'm trying to kill the heart for not only the vulnerable but for potions A second Sir Boomerang. Well, keep in mind we're going to have Gyria So Sir Boomerang is going to be a monster hitter But am I okay with just one as opposed to having two? What's the benefit of having two? Question, what about dual wield? We could use dual wield to do dual wield, um... Dual wield funeral pain or dual wield attacks. We have like Reaper that we can dual wield. We have... Sir Boomerang. I don't know. Dual wield is a little dubious. So 
second boomerang, though, is going to be pretty decent. Eh. Another shop. Oh, now we have medkit. We got inflame offered again. We have master strategy. And yeah, unfortunately, choker is inter synergy with a lot of these things. Medkit doesn't really do much. If I didn't have choker, I don't mind medkit, but I wonder if it's just remove inflame. I wonder if Inflame just gives us that little bit of extra, or instead of Inflame, I just do one more Gyria and we're fine. Or what about this? Flex Pot with my Souvenir for the Heart. I'm not sure. Gotta remember that I have Burner. Burner makes a big difference. Let's remove all this junk. I think we remove our junk, our deck's looking pretty good. How about we save money for the next remove? Unless you guys really want Inflame. I'm not sure Inflame does enough. Maybe it helps against the Time Eater, though. I feel like Time Eater, shrug we struggle a little bit with Time Eater. Because we are only going to have two strength, and then we have to do Rupture stuff to get four strength, six strength. It's kind of slow. Eh, let's save. Oh, we got transient. I don't like that. I don't like the look of that. Transient's not a nice guy. It's literally in his description, not a nice guy. Not a nice guy, I said. So why are you being so rude? You know what I really want to get? Rupture right about now. So why you gotta be so rude? I guess we can play one more card. Hand of Greed? That's never gonna work. Rupture. Oh, son of a... There it is. There's the Rupture. All right, if we can get ruptured that quickly in a boss fights, I'm really happy. Can you rupture that fast in boss fights, and I'm ecstatic. Yeah, I know that extension is not up right now. I, ha I guess I have to I have to access my Twitch. I'll, I'll access my Twitch. I already have it up. Here, I'll, I'll put it on for you guys. Give me one sec. I'll put it on for you guys. Let me put it on real quick. Um. Okay, but a double rupture the play. Hell no. Uh, let me put it on real quick. The problem is I'm not logged into my Twitch, and it's always a problem to log into my Twitch. But maybe my Twitch is logged in my Firefox. Let me check. And if that's the case, I can do it no problem. It is. So now I go to my creator dashboard. Extensions, right? Let's do extensions. Let's activate my extensions. Slay the relics activated. All right, now you guys have to refresh. It should be good. Refresh, it should be good. I want a lift. All right. Oh, I didn't think of finishing Pantograph. That's horrible. I also didn't get funeral pain after apotheosis. Why did I do Hudbert first? So I can get weakened? Is that why? Is apotheosis even worth it here? I'm not too sure. Apotheosis is worth it here. What does it do for the rest of the fight that Apotheosis makes is worth it? It's gonna upgrade 
my defense. Okay. Whatever. Oh, my emulate. So check if you guys can see the Slay the Relics now. I should've done Bash, I feel like. If I did Bash, the Shockwave would've been huge here. Fuck, now, now Shockwave is like really sad. I gotta get Rupture out, but I don't wanna... How much is Rupture doing? Not the Corruption. Not the corruption. Oh my god. I don't have my rupture out and this is this is tragic. Should I be blocking too much or should I be like doing damage? What do you guys think? I gotta hurry up and kill this Donu. I have sundown. Now's the time. Now's the time. Corruption, we go crazy, right? Ah, but imagine if I had my rupture. Rupture hemo, this is my damage. Imagine. My rupture, my hemo. I need it. Need it badly. Strength is important. Make sure I have all the block. That's really bad. Make sure I have all the block in the world. It's horrible. Because this guy can't damage me next turn. I need Reaper here. Please give me Reaper. Please give me Reaper. I need Reaper, my friends. I could have done big calipers, I guess. I, I, I guess I didn't consider the calipers. I have calipers as an emo, and I didn't consider it. Reaper can heal a little bit more, technically. Burn could do rupture stuff. All right, so when do we want to stack instance burner? I'm playing on uh, Mod Spire. All right, time meter. Time meter is painful, huh? What's the solution for time meter? Yeah, I I'm on mod the spire. I activated the extension. Right now, my mods are including slay the relics, and I also just ruined it for you guys. Any day now. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Um, so how are we beating this guy? Very carefully. Very carefully. Got our Potheosis. Got our Dragon Brace. Should we keep drawing True Grit? Because True Grit is going to be the future. Or do you guys not care about True Grit? Who cares about True Grit? I could have kept the potion, I guess. Because I have Reaper and stuff. True Grit makes us go down to a clean cycle. Let's try it. I believe in True Grit. 
I believe we can do like a, a rupture hemokinesis. We have the shockwave. Let's get rid of that. Where did I feel a pain? Where's my funeral pain? What? This is the turn you decide to do the thing when I have my thing that uh, since. Uh, 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 uh. We don't corruption yet, right? Oh, man, this is so bad. Instance murder flopped. This is bad. This is real bad. Should we corruption now? And then we just get down to a nitty gritty hemokinesis deck. But what I gotta say, guys, is if I corruption now, all right, get down to a hemokinesis deck. Can I stay alive long enough before instant spinner comes back up? I think the answer is yes. But I know someone out there is screaming. That was way too early, Jeremy. How are you gonna play? Someone's screaming. And I might agree with them. That my son, I don't want to be wasting, see this is what I don't want to do. I don't want to be wasting all my frail turn, all my good block. So hit me in the face, why don't you? Okay, we got the Hemo again. That's a lot of strength. Not to be trifled with. Boom. Boom! Wait, that was exactly 240, but that's fine. It's, it's fine that it's exactly 240, but why the hell are you attacking me so much? And why am I failed again? Wait, this is, is this lethal? If, if I'm a lucky... Can I get lethal next turn? If I... What do I gotta do to get lethal? The fact that I'm weakening one roll is tra this is tragic. But to get lethal, I would have to bring back chemo again, right? And now we leave this on four, which is perfect for the act four elite. We leave this on four. Or is chemo not good enough? Maybe instead of chemo, I gotta just bring back Sword Murray. Guys, this is like a really math mathy situation where I can probably think about how I can get lethal. Are you guys really intrigued in what figuring this out? Or are we just way too weakened? This is never gonna work. I think we're way too weakened, this is never gonna work. We are way too weak and this is never going to work. I have way too many defense coming up. Way too many defense coming up. If I push for lethal, I push for lethal now. But if I don't, I just simply block shrug it off and we're good. And we never lose because we have instant burner coming up in three. And we never lose. You mean to tell me I could do... Um, 150... 50... Two damage next turn. How do I do 150 damage next turn? Explain to me how I do 150 damage in, in six cards. I would have to get exactly two boomerang, right? How do I get 152 damage? The answer is I don't. Hey, there's a slime for more. Now, next turn, she's going to go to their next phase. So I have to do 152. Damn, you choker. Should have full blocked, but it's okay. It's not going to matter because I'm... Oh, I forgot about the 12 damage. I was about the 18 damage I was doing there. I forgot about that. 
Oh my god, it is possible. It was possible the whole time. And I'm healing on top of it? And it's perfect incense burner for the elite? And I could do another Giria lift? Are you telling me everything's lining up? I think the answer is yes. Giria. Boom. Now. We save money for a move. And what do we got? We got enough for a move. However, Demon Form is not bad. Because I'll tell you what, Rupture does not inspire confidence. And what does Demon Form say? It says, play me and you will be happy with big reapers and big damage. But I do have Giria already, and I also already have Rupture in the deck, so if I have Giria and Rupture and Vajra, maybe I just stick to that. Oh my god, wait a minute. Flex Pot and Speed Pot. Okay. What is more important for the heart? Dexterity or, or, or Strength? I'm thinking Strength because we have Intangible. Second Hemo. Second Hemo is only good if I can get Rupture early, right? I have Intangible, so I just want to kill quickly. Unfortunately, both won't matter because <laughs> I only have one vulner I only have one artifact. However, next question is, do I use that artifact for the vulnerable? Hmm, I think it's for the flex. Strength leads into Reaper. It also helps me do damage quickly. I think we can block. I think our block parvel is pretty good with Corruption, Dark Embrace, Funeral Pain, but but that means we don't remove then. So then you're like, oh, a second Hemo. All right, if I'm buying a flex pot, then maybe I want to buy Demon Form as well. But if I have Speed Pot, I never die either, right? Against the heart. I'm more worried about dying than about doing damage. I think I can get the damage, but I'm not sure if I can live. Like the speed pot makes me sure I don't die. And we have calipers after all sometimes. Hmm. You guys want you think Demon Form is a curse or not? Who thinks Demon Form is a curse or not? I'm going full strength. I'm doing it for you guys. It's, it's for the show. It's for the show. Let's go. Okay, I kind of wish that Shockwave... It's okay. It's okay. Eee. What do we get rid of? I take the hit. Hit me, baby! It's a flesh wound. My god, there's so much... Oh, this is where you want the rupture. If you get the rupture here, look how juicy that would be. Holy shit, you're angry. Now, who pissed you off? So now I'm kind of thinking, wait, now I gotta stall to get a big fat reaper. So that means, I think I gotta do Demon Form, and I gotta stall for Big Fat Reaper. Because there's no way I'm going to the heart. I have Panagraph, don't get me wrong. But there's no way I'm going to the heart damage like that. So, this might be a stall and Demon Form waiting room. Which is fine, right? Even if I just kill the spear and leave the shield alone, I can Reaper off that. So I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna evolve so we can help our stall game. Is looking dire. Just remember, Reaper's got our back. Reaper's got our back. Get the rupture out of the deck. Rupture's pretty bad now nowadays. By nowadays, ah, I didn't get my apotheosis, so my shrugs it off are terrible. 
But I want to clean out the deck a little bit. So once I get the Corruption Dark Embrace, I think we never lose. But it's important that I get this guy low, though. It's important that I get this guy low. Because this guy... is going to be a problem. And as long as he's dead, I'm happy. Upshur doesn't do anything here. Um, next turn is problematic, actually. Do I have enough damage to kill this guy next turn is the question. Do I have enough damage to kill this guy? We have Immolate, and we have Firepot. I think Firepot does it, right? That means that I want to play Corruption and Dark Embrace. It allows me to play my Corruption, but it doesn't allow me to get Dark Embrace. But now I need to... Wait. That's fine. As long as I do no more damage. No more damage. And I can get my Reaper. My 52 heal Reaper. And then 52 heal plus Pentagraph, we're fine. I can even extend that a little bit. What's more important, the Corruption or the Dark Embrace? Corruption means I don't take any more damage. Dark Embrace means... We'll get back to it. We can headbutt it. Okay, we can take we can take some more damage. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. No worries. I can take that damage. The problem is I have to end. I'm taking some damage here. Um, I'm taking some damage here. Okay, let's do that. I don't take any damage. We do Reaper now. Yeah, and I gotta end with Intus on four. Reaper's right here. Reaper's right here. It's too much damage. Reaper's right here. One. Two. Is that good enough heal? We're gonna heal 39 with Burning Blood plus 25. So 60, 64. It's close enough, 64. Eh, we're, yeah, we're fine. That's good enough. And now we gotta stall. Now we gotta stall for three. Can I stall is the question. You know, I really wouldn't want to take damage here. Okay, theoretically, I can believe with instance on one. The problem with instance on one is that I'm going to be vulnerable. And I might just die in the first two turns. Maybe I should have stalled a little bit longer with Reaper, because then, I don't know. This guy was too low in life. I did too much damage to him, so I couldn't play cards. Maybe I need to get rid of Rupture earlier. Ah, if I do it on one, guys, the problem is... Turns three and, turns two and three are really hard. I'm going to be vulnerable as well. I'm not sure I can survive that. I lose 12 now, but I'll lose more if I don't do the instant burner thing. I will lose more. You gotta trust me on that. Unfortunately, send... Alright, we'll send it now. Because 3 is fine. Let's 
Sundial is not perfect. This is a lot of this is less than ideal. Okay, but limit break. It's like overkill. However, maybe overkill is good when you have Reaper in the deck. But maybe overkill is good when you have Reaper in the deck. Thoughts? Flex spot, souvenir, demon form, Gyria, limit break, Reaper? It's like it's a lot of strength. Let's do it for the show. Question is Blessing of the Forge versus Fire Pot. What's more important? Blessing of the Forge. 69, 94. Okay, do we just send corruption right away? Because we are going to be doing flex pot for the souvenir. So do we just all gas? All gas, demon form, play everything, and try to. It's just a race. Just corruption and go down. Who cares? All gas. Right? Evolve Tristan is really good. The main problem, the main thing is I need to get Reaper timely. A timely Reaper. No, but the fight's not going to drag on because we have Demon Form, Flex Pot, Limit Break. The fight's not dragging on. One thing this fight is not doing is dragging on. Okay, but is Bash important? Because with Bash, I'm kind of thinking... I have an idea. I don't need this defense. The reason why I don't need this defense... Oh my! Okay, now losing Flame Bear sucks, but I have Headbutt. I have headbutt. I wish I had my... I wish I had my... So we have all the cards we need. So now we just gotta go, go ham. But I wish I had my... What's it called? I feel a pain out. Okay! You, you want the little pain? There it is, buddy! There it is, buddy. Get your true grid out. Now, I should be doing damage. Right? I should be doing damage. Because if I do damage, the game's over. Do damage, game's over. Because it's all... From here on out, it's all gas. All gas. Gas, 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 gas. And, and it's a race, and I'm trying to win it. I could try to draw a dim team for him, but... It's a race, and I want to win. We have a big Reaper coming up. We're still weakened here, unfortunately. But still, I want to push the gas. I could over... I guess I can do slime so I don't take face damage. Or just full gas. Full gas or Don't tell me it was a don't tell me. Don't tell me it was a demon form the whole time. Full gas, full gas. Who needs demon form? We don't got time for it. Demon form is not gas. Demon form isn't gas. You know what is gas? Reaper. Boomerang headbutt on the boomerang. That's gas. And that's gas for Sundell, too. Not the biggest reaper of my life. But there's no way we lose because he's going to be weakened forever. Plus, we have. There's no way we. We don't have that much block coming up. But we have 90 something life. I don't have that much block coming up, but I have 90 something life. 
I could block now with calipers. The void killed my ass. Without the void, we're going full max damage here. What if I just like, avoid Reaper? I mean, Reaper's pretty good. So we do the damage. And then we finish off with the headbutt on something important. Or just more damage. The problem is we can't kill in three. That's the main problem with the strategy. So instead of doing headbutt on that, what if I just Calipers? I'm, I'm a little bit worried about not being able to block enough. Because we don't actually kill in three. Or we can kill in two. 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 Can we kill in two? Do we have enough to kill in two? 200, 200? <laughs> Yeah, I want to go. I want to do it, but all right. I trust. Actually, should I have done this first and then finish the headbutt so I get calibers block? The answer is yes, right? We want calibers block and then finish. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ay, ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. All right. This is good for next turn, but this is also good now. Try to do damage here. Make sure we have block. We're fine. Anger. We have way too much damage. Way too much damage. That's what we got. You say there's not such a thing? Uh, there's such a thing. But the problem if I do that is going to draw all my block. I just don't want to draw my block now. And we do this. Look at this full damage. Do you think it's going to be a numbers race where every bit of damage matters or not? We never. We won the game. The guy's weakened. We have more block coming up, and GG. So it comes down to style points. It's GG. 169, he never kills me, I always kill him. Bye. Nice. Now, if that, they, if that ain't me getting a little bit quicker. That's me getting a little bit quicker. Okay, one hour, 24 minutes. We just make a sub one hour. Let's do the sub one hour. Nice run. Wow. What happened? I don't know. We just had, like, everything at the end. Wipey statue happened. That's what happened. Wipey statue, molten egg, choker happened. From there it was boom. Very solid act one. And the value of the upgraded attacks came through. And then, yeah, rupture was a little awkward at first. But it, it paid off in some fights with the rupture hemokinesis. That was pretty good. And then afterwards I said, okay, you know what? How about we get a Geria, flex pot, and a limit break. Don't even need the demon form. That was for style points. Although demon form was relevant. Demon form was relevant because I didn't have limit break for the act four elite. So demon form healed me for the act four elite. Every every card played. Maybe the card that didn't play was. Well, every card was useful. Yeah. GG.